What is going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Today, I thought we'd just kind of have a simple friendly chat. So, you know, if you're not one of them people who likes having a simple friendly chat, then you can leave. It's totally fine, man. Just come back next week. All right. Obviously, quite a few of you have noticed that it is in the middle of like lockdown and stuff. And I have been making beats and videos and everything. And then some of you might also realize that most of my beats are made with the MPC and I buy a lot of records. Now, I have been making beats and some of you are both thinking, what? You've been going out to buy records and stuff. Get back indoors. First of all, shut up. Second of all, I've got some magical ways that you can dig for vinyl in lockdown. So here we go. Obviously, I have quite an extensive, well, I mean, not super extensive, but extensive enough for someone who just kind of makes beats. I think I've got like 150 or something. Some of those are hip hop and obviously you can't sample from hip hop because that would just be extremely idiotic. I buy, let's see, I've got my records over here. So Soul and R&B, let's say there's about like 30. Jazz, also about 30. Funk, 20. The way I make beats and if you guys make beats with the MPC too, you'll kind of understand that you have to use records and it's just the way you make beats from sampling from records and there's not really any other way that you'd want to do it. So if you're in the same position as me and all the record shops are near you are closed and you even got a record shop voucher for Christmas, but the shop is closed so you can't find it, then you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you guys some ways that you can actually kind of dig for vinyl. It's not exactly the same because... If, if you know what I'm talking about, it's like, you know, when you're just going into a shop and you don't know what you're going to find, you've got no idea of what you want to find. And you're kind of just, you know, going through the crates and stuff and you kind of find somebody you like or you kind of find a cover that's cool or you find like, you know, some cool instruments that they've used on the back. And, you know, you come home with like six records that you've never even heard of and you don't know what they sound like. And it's kind of just like putting them down on the player and seeing what they sound like and it's kind of like a bit of a gamble because you've paid 20 quid for all of them you don't know if they're all going to be good or if they're all going to be kind of whack that's the fun of it probably the main way that you're going to kind of get that same digging for in the crates kind of feel is if you just go to ebay you can buy records off many places you can buy them off ebay you can buy them off discogs but discogs is kind of more for like you know single records and in lockdown and stuff i find myself kind of doing a bit more collecting than actual sampling so obviously i've got all my hip-hop ones there so obviously dr dre and stuff and nwa you know they're just my favorite albums and so i just want to have the vinyl version of them because i think it's cool to have them but if we go to ebay you can see i obviously look at a lot of npcs and s900s and stuff but you can literally just search up jazz job lot like that and then look, look at this, you can get seven inches, we'll go 12s, 12 LPs, two pounds an LP, that's pretty good. So, you know, it's kind of stuff like that. It's just kind of like a collection and obviously you can't buy one at a time. So if you see one you kind of like, like Sammy Davis, I think I've heard of him, you get some compilations which are cool. They might give you the list down here, but you kind of just get all of them at the same time. Like I have no idea what some of these ones at the top are, but you know, if I bought that, it'd be kind of cool to listen through all of them and just see what's going on. And if they've got good samples, you know, maybe if they've got bad samples and I can just expand my collection and stuff. So I've done that quite a few times. I got a jazz collection that I still haven't finished listening to. There's some, I got some Charlie Mingus in there. There was a bit of Quincy Jones, Dave Grusin. He's pretty cool. You can also obviously just put what you're on your own. So soul records, job lot, and it will come up with the same thing, but soul. So yeah, look, there's some Smokey Robinson there. I'm pretty sure I've already got that album. Stax Gold is a good label. Oh yeah, Roy Ayers. That's probably as close as you're going to get as digging in lockdown because you kind of you're kind of going in with a brief idea of what you want, but you're not sure what you totally want. You can go like I've got a few things like when I uh, search up like Roy Ayers and stuff, or if I know there's a a really good drum break in a song, you can search up like you know actual records like the record names. Like I bought some loose ends. Oh look at that! They got a whole kind of thing. So yeah, look, I got that one. No, I actually got that from a record store. You know, you get the point that you can also buy like single ones off there. That's also kind of cool. So, I mean, that's the first way that you can do it. The second way is kind of just listening 
to music on Spotify. First of all, I'll go and kind of search up a sample that I might like. So I found here that obviously the boogie back, and I've got this on vinyl, the boogie back is um, the one that NWA used on one of their songs. So. So obviously that was used. And then usually what I do is I just go here. You know, I might listen to the whole album, see if there's, you know, other songs that they haven't used. But then go all to, you know, fans also like. Just kind of go through here. Maybe go to one of their albums that they did earlier on. So like a 79 album or like 70s or 80s stuff. I might listen to those like just all the way through and stuff. Check the intros, see if they're kind of good, see for any drum breaks. And then... You know, just kind of write them down on a piece of paper or whatever, come back to them in a couple of weeks and sample those. Another thing that you need to do is obviously check that people haven't sampled it before. So obviously I can't sample the boogie back because that's obviously been used. So I just go up to um, who sampled up here and just kind of search up a sample that I like. So obviously uh, maybe if I liked Summer Nights. <laughs> So if I wanted to use those chords, I'd kind of just search up like Summer Nights. And then I'd see that obviously people like Joey Badass have used that. And I probably wouldn't go and so it's been sampled in 30 songs, so I probably wouldn't actually go and sample that because uh, you know, I'd just be copying other people's beats and stuff like that. So you just gotta check that. But when I do buy records and stuff, so let me show you this. The last jazz job lot thing I bought, there were 12 records. I've listened to 10 of them. That took me three days because what I do is, even if I don't particularly like them, uh, because I'm kind of looking for stuff like horns and stuff, because you don't have to listen for full samples. I kind of just want drum breaks or horns or single piano hits and stuff. Now I listen through to the whole record and kind of mark down, or really concentrate whilst listening to it to kind of see if there's just like a bar. Because obviously if you, if you don't listen to the full thing, you never really know what's in there. And I've got these like pad, I've got these sticky note things. So I kind of just write drum break at, and then I'll look how far through I am in the record. I'll be like, you know, roughly at a quarter of the way through in the song or, or like horn hit, first eight bars, some of that. So that when I kind of re-dig, so I put these in my collection, obviously like that. And I kind of go through maybe one week you know, if I want a soul sample or a jazzy sample, I kind of redig my own collection. And then if I can pull out a name that I like, like Charlie Mingus, I can quickly go in. There'll be one of those notes inside. And, you know, I can see, I can quickly jump through the song without having to listen to the whole record again. So let me see if we've got that. So obviously here, I'm going through like the jazz collection. Who have we got? We've got uh, some Ahmad Jamal. And let's pull that out. So if I go in here, this is a pretty good album. It's like him at a concert. I can see, obviously, I hope I left a note in here. Oh yeah, I did. Right, so there I just wrote What's New because that's the name of the song. I didn't, I don't think, right, I didn't write too many details on that. But anyway, you get the point. I just kind of write stuff down like that so that I can quickly go back. Obviously, What's New is the last song on side B. I can quickly listen through that again. There might be some few chords and it'll just jog my memory. I'll probably, because I've listened to this album all the way through before, so I'll, it'll probably jog my memory when I listen to it again. So yeah, it is pretty hard and boring kind of digging in lockdown because, you know, it's, it's like a thing that you just have to go and buy records and stuff. But hopefully that gave you a few insights into how I do it. And if you're stuck, just not really making any beats, maybe you can try some of those ways. I think probably the easiest way and the cheapest way, obviously, is to do it off like Spotify and just listening to random playlists on YouTube and stuff because eBay, obviously, you have to pay for the records. And even though you do get the records, you know, you have to pay postage and stuff and then sometimes it doesn't come and it's just a bit of a, you know, you have to wait for it and it's just a bit of an effort. But you do get a piece of a vinyl that you can put in your collection, kind of as you would before. So that's pretty cool. If there's any music that you want me to take a look at, like, you know, maybe sample or just ways that you kind of do it, then definitely let me know because I'd love to see how you guys do it. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, obviously subscribe so you can get more tips and tricks and see me making beats and stuff once we can actually go back to record shops and stuff like that. So hit the bell to never miss that. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.